Hello everyone, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to continue my tutorial series about how to make multiplayer game in Unity. I've made some modification on this user interface, but uh, technically everything is same. I can spawn this player object. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how if I want to use the other player controller system if you watch my previous videos I was showing you how to play around with camera sensitivity setting if you remember I got this example scene you see I have first person third person player controller system with this virtual joystick and jump button what if I want to instantiate this player system instead of the old one the same the simple one it is easy okay let's get started because I'm going to edit this scene I will duplicate this scene so I I won't break the original scene this Jihui player, I will unpack it. Let name it GP player. Okay, right now in this uh, player system has camera toggle system. I'm going to disable this camera toggle. Object camera toggle. Cameras, cameras. I'm going to use third person camera only, so I delete this. The other cameras, I don't want it. I delete this camera, I delete the other camera, which one is the Which one is the first person camera here? First person, I delete it. Third person, uh, yeah. Third person camera, I will use it. First person, no. And let me check what if I run the game. And hang on, this slider, I will set the minimum value to be 0.5 and max 1.5 I will run the game now I'm in third person mode and I will delete this toggle camera button because I like third person multiplayer game so I only need third person camera the toggle camera button where is it Here, here, yes, this one. I uh, disable it. And okay, we are ready. This is sensitivity setting. I can increase it if you, if I want the faster and more sensitive camera rotation. By the way, this I don't need it. By the way. I I put this slider as a tutorial previously for a tutorial video so I don't want it let it be like this make it very simple so player won't get confused it's fine Okay, we are ready to create a new player object. So this CP multiplayer, I will drag it here to make a prefab inside this resources folder. 
Now we go back to our multiplayer scene. This is the launcher object. Player pref previously I was using this cube, uh, this symbol prefab. Let's create. Let's use this layer object because this slot needs the uh, photon view this CP multiplayer prefab needs photon view photon view that's all and then we can drag and drop it here to replace the player object now I will show you one by one the progress so if we got a problem we will solve it together I'm going to build the game and I will demonstrate it I will show you how it works okay here it is let's open it <coughs> a layer a layer, layer b you see we got those players are instantiated we can move but you know there is a problem with the camera with the synchronization if I move this player it is not correct somehow both of them are moving you know how to solve it previously I've shown you how to solve this problem it is because we need to disable and enable some object that is not ours so let me show you first I'm going to double click this CP multiplayer object first thing that I'm going to disable is this uh, canvas the touch screen canvas I will disable I will disable it if it is not mine so I will add a component I add this script you know what script it is I have shown you if you check my previous video you will see it it has this code if this object is not mine then deactivate it I add it here and I will also add it here on the TPS camera add okay and let's try to build it again <coughs> let's run it is correct right now here it is my player in the right side and I can move it but if I move this player the left side it is still something wrong you cannot see the this player moving why because we did not add we did not add the photon photon transform view to the capsule to the player object this player object which is the capsule it needs uh, transform trans photon transform view classic check the synchronized position and synchronized rotation 
what else? I think that's all. And mm -hmm. let's build the game again. And let's see the difference. to move this player oh I still have the problem with the synchronization oh yeah one thing is missing on this capsule object player object it also needs something called Fulton view yeah this one is missing and let's try it again but somehow I got some delay I don't know why oh if I move this layer yeah I can move it you can move you can see this player is moving but there is some delay the delay and check again this player object bottom view my internet connection I will try to rebuild it I think the delay, delay is gone. I'm going to move this player. You see that the synchronization is correct. I can look around, and you can see the update here. Okay, what do you think, guys? Here we go with our multiplayer third person third person multiplayer game. We have the character controller with the touch screen joystick and jump button. And I think it should be my last tutorial for this multiplayer tutorial. And let me know if you want me to continue it. 
if no I will continue with myself and I will record it I will develop my game based on this and you can develop your own we can change the character with a 3d character to the model of our character and so on and we can build our own game okay that problem the delay problem i think it was caused by the order of components the photon view should be before the photon transform view classic i think I don't know, I'm not sure. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you, bye bye.